Hey everybody, Ron here. I'm recording RPG Day 2019, the prompts for Days 23 and 24, Surprise and Triumph. Um, I thought about this for a little bit, and what I came up with is, you know when you run a game and you have a situation and you expect it to go a certain way, or you think it's going to go a certain way, particularly if it's, you think it's going to go in um, against the the, the uh, players, it might even be or potentially um, a potential for a catastrophic failure, TPK and whatnot. And through clever thinking, the the players subvert the um, they subvert the situation. They come up with something um, that you didn't think of because you have one brain versus their four or five, and you know it's actually you know, quite clever. I used to be frustrated about these things, particularly when I was younger and when I first uh, started, you know, DMing back in the early '90s. And once I decided to relax and go with the flow, and quite frankly, just improv a lot more things. Um, I really I started to enjoy the, that stuff, you know the times when you have a lieutenant that is supposed to be beyond the ability of the players to beat, and they they beat him or her. Um, the times where you think that they're going to uh, oh they're just going to uh, storm the castle and they expertly infiltrate it, or or the other way around, you know you think. Well, they're not going to. They're not just going to do a frontal assault on this situation. They're they're going to stealth it, and they just don't. And and for some reason, it works. In those situations, they they impress me. They entertain me. Um, I'm glad that I have changed my philosophy about that because if I didn't, I would you know some 30, 30 years later now going on. I would still be frustrated. In fact, I probably would be more frustrated. But um, isn't that one of the most fun things about you know this hobby? I mean, you can't do that in in uh, in video games. Um, you can't do that in uh, many other uh, hobbies, and uh, that's what's so cool about this this hobby. So uh, that's what I got to say about that. Until next time, I'll see you later.